Hey boys and girls, thanks for clicking on the video. What we have here is a big beautiful piece of birch. I've never turned birch before, at least not green birch. This was harvested from our homestead. Hopefully you watched that video. And now I'm going to try to make a bowl or something out of it. It's at like 300 and eh, about 300 RPMs. Let's see how it does. See what we got for grain on this thing. Hopefully nice. Pull you around a little bit so you can see it head on. Looks pretty cool to me. All kinds of different stuff going on in there. Hold on, let me shrink you. There, that's more of a straight on view. All kinds of cool stuff going on. Different shades, green. Alright. I'll hurry up and get a uh, tenon on this thing. And round it up a little. And... We'll get it flipped around. like butter. I gotta figure out what I want to do. I would like to leave this bark on, but I can't have it. Oh, doesn't that make a neat detail? Can you? Nope. Let me jack you up again for Pete's sakes. Sorry about all the wiggling and squiggling. Doesn't this make a cool detail? I didn't realize that. Mm-hmm. Alright, that's what we're shooting for then. I'm going to make a nice wide bottom bowl. For mixing dough and what have you. I see the bottom's a little a little bit uneven. I got have a miss spot here. We'll go back to that and flatten it out.
so weird. It's like a really hard spot in there. Gotta be a grain thing. Okay, I got it flipped around. I'm gonna try to get a top of the top of the bowl line on it. Trying to just jam it in there and not take my time like an idiot. Oh, that's pretty wide there. Better taper it. golly it sure is so I'm gonna have a work on this for a while to get the top flat it's a lot more of a severe angle than I thought That's good. I think it's time to start hollowing. really strange there's some grain in there it almost feels like you're hitting pebbles or something it is so hard but fortunately um, I tried both my bowl gouges but for some reason the uh, well not for some reason the carbide cuts better and you can't feel the click 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 hitting your carbide like you can with the, the steel so I'm going to continue on with the carbide
I've never had carbide cut this good. Really strange. Like I say, first time with birch. I hate cutting with carbide. Alright, I'll turn you back on in a few. Almost got it. We're getting there. Beautiful looking grain in here. Still pretty thick in that corner, but I think I'm going to uh, switch to a carbide. All I can say is, oh boy, this is going to be beautiful. That's without finish on it. Look at the sides, all the streaks, mm-hmm, haven't started sanding yet, and uh, no finish, I'm liking me some birch. I kept a little bark on there. I'm not sure if that's going to be the final, but I kind of like it. It actually has built-in handles to pick it up. Let me see, that would be the best way. See how it was had a little hump there? It creates a handle with the wood. And then on the opposite side, there's another one. So that's actually kind of cool. We'll see. Pretty awesome. Time for sanding. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep working my way up through the grits. brass brush get the tenon off this video right here this piece is far too wet to put a finish on so I'm gonna throw it in a pile of sawdust and let it dry for a couple of days to a week I don't know really happy with this birch I think it turned out cool ended up with a handle here and a handle here for picking it up bark looks kind of thick on there but that's just the way birch is see the big the real thick underbark. I'm no I'm not positive if I'm gonna leave that or not. We'll see what it looks like after it dries. But the pattern on the wood is gorgeous. I'm trying to catch the light for you. I love that brown underbark. I think it really highlights it. I like it. My first experience trying to turn birch. The bottom turned out nice. The patterns are just crazy. It's a little off right now because there's no finish. But 
just all kinds of goofy star patterns and the inside looks nice the sides have this let me see if I can get the light right the sides have this cool looking vertical straight up and down pattern and there's I don't know if you can see them or not but there's like little teeny polka dots or something all through it let me find a spot right there see the little polka dots oh this lighting is just horrible but if you get it too bright then you can't see nothing but there's these little little tiny marks in there the rim turned out nice a little wider where the handles ended up that was a big lump in the log but all in all I like it so after I get the it dries up and I get a finish on I'll give you an update I got a couple more bowls I need to update you on after I got the finish uh, here's here's one I just got one coat of finish that oak bowl that was too wet that turned out really cool I still got the tenon on it. I think that turned out beautiful. And then I uh, have other updates for you too. So I'll do an update video on all the stuff I had to let dry. Thanks for tuning in everybody. I hope you like and subscribe. It's free. Why not? Doesn't hurt anything. Uh, click the little bell on so you get notifications if you're interested in turning. Until then, Play nice.